forget about chasing metrics on social media and rather focus on developing your email so all those people that you know or that you work with, you actually continue to nurture them as you are moving along with interior design. So let's talk about interior design for email marketing strategies. Why do we talk about email marketing for interior design? Because when you have leads and you have people that you know and you want to get them to actually understand how you are developing your business and what are you doing, email is the best way because they are reading whatever you're saying. On social media, people scroll, 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 and they get lost. But an email is more impactful because you have their ears, you have their eyes, you have their full attention. You're gonna build relationships with the people that are actually reading that email. You're gonna be sharing what you've been up to, but you're also gonna be creating that connection, like that bond that actually connects you as an interior designer to the person that is actually probably struggling with interior designing. Now, let me give you some hacks for 2024 that you can actually apply right now, which are very trending for an email strategy. First, you can actually create templates. Templates for people that actually are more visual. You can show them uh, maybe uh, designs of interior design and like, what would I do? And this is a template and how would I would make it? So you give them a sequence of templates, how they can actually change things in their home. You can actually create this in a perfect place like Pinterest and you can actually show them in that email mid-century must-haves. Hmm. Or for example, cozy cottage essentials that you may have in a house if you have in a cottage. And you can create that template by showing them with pictures because remember, Interior design is all about the image, how it looks. Now, the second thing that you can actually do is you can create a checklist. Let's think about a checklist of essential things that somebody may need. For example, like how to restore a kitchen. This is the checklist that I'm going to give you of how you can actually do this. And remember, these are freebies. These are things that you are giving in exchange for an email, for an email so they can actually sign up, to your email sequences and they can actually get more information because that's what people actually want is that they want to, you know, remove the obstacles and get the information from you for free. But with an email sequence, you can actually get them closer to become a lead. Now, the third thing that you can actually do, and this will get them even closer to becoming a lead, you can do, for example, like a DIY video series that is super secret. So you're going to be delivering maybe three videos in three emails, right? And you're going to give them hacks of the different kinds of things that they could actually be doing that you haven't spoken to anybody about, but that you know that will change someone's life and that your ideal clients is actually rooting and wanting to know these secrets because these are interior design secrets. Nobody else has them only you and you can create an email and a video and you set it every single day for three days the last and i would say the fourth email that you will be sending is to make an offer an offer where they actually can you know work with you get on a consultation get on a sales call get on anything that you may want, everything that you're doing with an email, and I've said this in many videos, regardless of the niche, is that you always need to know what is your end in mind, like having exactly who, where you want to take them. So your emails have a sequence, but you already know from the beginning, okay, I'm going to offer this service for this set of emails. I'm going to offer this service for these set of hacks or these set of uh, templates. You already know what you want them to do towards the end because every single email that you will give them will have a clear call to action because people love to know what they gotta do, how they should do it, and how they can be better. Now, the second part about this with the emails, I know it is tricky for a lot of people, but this is a testing game, okay? And it is your subjects. Your subjects need to have that hook that really gets them. And once they open that 
email, they need to have another hook so that, you know, because in some emails you can actually see the next part. So you need to create a double hook when you are creating these emails, but you have to be testing those kinds of subjects. You have to tap into pain points and struggles, but don't clickbait. That is very important. Don't clickbait on an email because you don't want to be opening an email where it says something and when you open that email I'm like oh, oh, oh where is that information it's nowhere to be found within inside of that information so be sure to be as authentic as you can be and don't clickbait your email subscribers okay that is crucial but do make sure that you're testing what you're putting out let me give you a few examples how this one can really look for you so the first one could be like a little bit of intrigue and curiosity whatever you may think that it could be intriguing and curiosity and try and add it into your subject lines now the second one would be benefit driven what are the benefits for doing this what are the benefits of doing that like uh, these are un unleash something that you want that you know that your ideal clients actually are looking for give them the benefits within that subject line and then the third one you can actually do is more personalization you can actually put the name of that person within that subject line saying like this will change your life right now Mary or this will Veronica this is the hack that you've been waiting for for all your life about interior design, for example. Now, the one last strategy that I would like to share with you is that your emails need to have a storytelling. You have to tell a story so that people actually uh, get to know you a little bit more and who you are as a person. But those emails, when you're gonna be building them, they need to have value, they need to have a storytelling, they have to be entertaining, and you need to sell them something. So there has to be like a little, um, a variety of emails. You can't always send a value-driven email because then people don't want to open them anymore because they already expect what you're sharing. But if, for example, you are doing an email that is all about entertaining, but it's something that happened to you, or maybe you want to share a story of uh, somebody that you know, that it was a client, that, you know, they made a mistake and, and how they chose something and you help them get through that, it's a little bit of, uh, of value, but it's also entertaining because you can even make it funny. You can even go to ChatGPT or Gemini and say, create me a, an email about this and that and make it funny and I don't know, and then put some emojis and pictures and GIFs and all those kind of things that make that email even a lot more rich and a lot more entertaining for people to actually get on a daily basis or if it's weekly. And then of course that last email, which is the sale email that you may wanna do if you're having a promotion or you wanna get more people into, these are actually very simple emails that you can say, you know, like this week I am willing to take three clients who wanna have a, I don't know, maybe a refurnished uh, kitchen. They wanna redo their their bathroom. They wanna redo their living room. They wanna anything. And you can actually simply ask them, reply to this email, why not? You don't have to have a full on like strategy, but simply a reply, it's even better than not a reply, right? So make them simple. Don't overthink your emails. One last thing that I wanna give you just before we finish, if you can get your hands on an automation email service provider, I would really recommend you to actually do that. So you set up these emails, one, you sit down maybe a Sunday or a Monday morning, you create these sequences and that is it. You set them up, you schedule them, and they are a boom, boom kind of machine. If you have freebies, you do the same. You do your sequences, you, you deliver those um, that freebie, that you get that email, and you keep on nurturing them. The thing about email is that you need to be consistent in whatever you do. Okay, I think this is too long. I hope you enjoy a wonderful day. It's really sunny and I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna continue doing a little bit more content creation for you guys. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me some comments below. Bye.